Well, it's a solid eight event card set down for decision at Club Langan on Saturday night. The highlight being the clash of Expensive Ego and Majestic Cruiser. Um, go on the way of Expensive Ego over the 2300 metres, just that one run on his side, which was an all the way win here last week. Majestic Cruiser back from a spell, and he will appreciate the return to a front line draw. And his two trials have been superb for Jason Grimson. So that battle is certainly going to be intriguing. Now looking for specials on the card, kicking off in the opening event with Tegan Benner, an all-the-way winner here last week, when first up from a six-week break, perfectly rated by Cam Hart to take out the event rather comfortably with that added fitness. A slight harder contest this time around, but Tegan Benner has been ultra-consistent since joining the stables of Jason Grimson. I expect Tegan Benner to go back-to-back. -back. Over to race two in the card, despite having a slight setback following his seven-metre eighth to Port-au-Prince, in the Renshaw Cup. We're going with Heaven on High, trained by the astute David Thorne. No doubt David has Heaven on High ready to go first up, despite the fact that he hasn't been to the official trials. Very talented performer, the ex-Kiwi. He's been ultra-consistent since joining David's team. And with all three wins so far on this side of the Tasman, recorded at Club and Angle, I'm expecting Heaven on High to run a very bold race in the second. Well, Swayze demolished his rivals at... Bathurst last time out. He was first up for, from a spell, also first up for Jason Grimson. His form back in Queensland was moderate to say the least, but he won by 28.7 metres, hard held by Cam Hart. If he can show that form against a slightly stronger opposition, he has drawn well, which is a big plus. So Swayze, I think, will be very hard to run down in the third event. Moving over to race seven on the card, the Triton escaped the pace. Very impressive in scoring here last week for Ricky Orchard, that was his first run for Ricky, formerly trained in New Zealand. He broke in a mobile event two starts back and finished at the tail of the field. He enjoyed the stand last week. He returns to a mobile. I think he's now settled into his new surroundings, Escape the Pace, meeting similar rivals. And I think Escape the Pace will be one of the better bets on the card. Looking at the Melton meeting also on Saturday night in the opening event, Sly Terror for Andy and Kate Gath got run down. Last time out, but I think he can bounce back to winning form. Very consistent performer with the ideal draw. And tempting Tigress for Emma Stewart returns to racing in the second event on the card. Has drawn the back row, but a very solid performer. Coming off a third to major delight in the gold bracelet back during the Bathurst Gold Crown Carnival. And tempting Tigress, outstanding performer. Seven starts, five wins, two placings. I think she'll be very hard to beat when she resumes her career on Saturday night. So there are the thoughts for both. Club Manangle and Melton on Saturday night. Until next time, good punning.